Hey guys, welcome back to KSP's Forks Research Division. We are still playing in point 24 and we are looking to finish up these uh, uh, these couple of contracts here. We got one to test the parachute, the Mark 16 parachute, and the one to test the uh, stack decoupler. So hopefully we'll get both of those in one fell swoop. So um, what I want to try to do is get up above 21,000 feet um, and then decouple and then try the parachute um, hopefully we'll get all of those we got to be moving pretty quickly um, actually we have a small window we need to be going around 400 meters a second so uh, we'll try to do that all right so uh, what is our goal we want to be go at least uh, 21.3 kilometers and around 400 meters a second all right so uh, here we go And I'm trying to use it in as little parts as possible so we can save money. So I, I love the fact that we have to to, to, to budget and, and save money and everything. Let's actually throttle down a little bit. I don't want to get going too fast. Just double check. 2300 meters for the parachute and 21.3 kilometers for the all right, 21.3 we gotta be going around 400 meters a second hopefully we might have to uh, do a little bit of staging work and everything and redo it I don't know if the best idea would be go straight up or not. There's the first stage. Actually, we'll go ahead and turn, get a little, settle down a little bit. We're not trying to achieve orbit just yet. Alright. Cut engines. We got one of them. Which one? That's that decoupler, okay. I don't think we got the speed for the parachute. We might have to do that re-entering. Can... Hmm. I don't know how we're supposed to go around is definitely well we're not going fast enough anymore but hmm, it's tricky definitely tricky I know I said the last episode that I was going to do a little bit of research but I, I, I didn't I just jumped right back into it after I took a little bit a little bit break oh we got it oh no that's the stack decoupler one Okay. Still don't have a parachute one. Might have to do that reentry once we get into orbit and everything. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. We'll get it eventually, I think. I hope, anyways. Shouldn't be that bad. Take a drink of water as we splash down in the water. Alright. 
Okay, EV report and service sample. Get in, get in. There we go. All right. Recover. Let's see what little bit of a science we got and prestige and all that good stuff. Oh, moving, moving up pretty quickly. Uh, so we got nine science. Um, still don't quite know what the how to uh, the funds breakdown of the recovered parts are. Okay, so yeah, there's uh, 10 units. Okay, and the unit value. So yeah, okay, so I get full value of that and everything that was uh, recovered. So everything that uh, uh, I, I guess I uh, some more reputation for uh, Jeb. Everything that I discard and everything, I guess, doesn't count. I guess putting parachutes on. I don't know how that'll work. If that'll actually work. Uh, we got uh, almost a thousand funds. So now we're 62.8k. Not too bad. All right, so let's see if we can open up this. We need nope. We're we're about 1.4 science short. That's fine. All right, let's go check see if there's any more contracts. There's a lot of contracts. So the only one we have is for the parachute and orbit, and those don't have actually. Test the parachute does. Let's see. To perform the test, activate the part through the staging sequence when all the test conditions are met. Yeah, but we have over a year of in game time. Alright, we can test the uh, LV909 liquid engine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, radio mount parachute. Uh, test the Separatron. Landed at Kerbin. Hmm. Let's let's uh, let's take this one. Make a little rig to do that. Let's go ahead. Yes, yeah, make a simple little rig to test that. Um. Go ahead. Take all this off. We don't need it. Uh, and let's see. Will that work? Let's, let's try it. Just a simple little Hit the space bar and see if we complete it. Yep, simple enough. All right, that was easy enough. Got 715 funds for that, but of course, all the stuff we spent. We got more reputation. We're building up that rep. All right, so um, hey, wait, did I get enough science to unlock the next stage? I did. All right, so we'll go ahead. We'll get this one, and it, we need to get ninety for the the uh, the fuel lines, and then we'll we'll be set. We'll we'll pretty much be able to go anywhere in the curving system because uh, we can do the asparagus staging. All right, so we need to get ninety science. So we need to. Probably look at uh, achieving orbit around Kerbin. That should be easy enough. So that's what we shall do. And we're going to take one of these because we are going to be taking some science. Hopefully, bringing it back. You know what? We're bringing an antenna. We haven't brought any antennas. Alright. One of these and one of these should be fine. It's weird. I keep glancing down here <laughs> to make sure that I'm not going over budget or anything. It's definitely strange. 
Not used to that. Uh, yeah, we'll try this. No, I, I want to keep it as symmetrical as possible, so we'll just keep it a sing single stack, I think. And... I think we'll go for the big boys. Try those out. Alright. How much are these? <laughs> 200 a piece. Uh, we'll go with just one. <laughs> that is so strange. I'm having to worry about that. Alright, so this rocket costs 17,000. We better get some good science out of it for this. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, we'll, we'll save over SRD3 for this one. Alright, so let's see if we can get to orbit with this. Alright, here we go. It's spinning a little bit. And throttle up all the way so whenever we disconnect ooh, it's not wanting to control very well we need some struts I don't know if I have any struts unlocked yet I haven't even checked yeah it's not wanting to cooperate at all But once we get rid of the stage, we should be fine. There we are. Let's spin back over this way. Let's go ahead and t turn towards the 90. Trying to get some contracts done. All we gotta do is get into orbit. And then maybe on the re entry, we'll try to get the test the parachute out of the way. I think I'm gonna see if the Kerbal Engineer has been updated. Because I. I that's the one go-to, if I could only choose one uh, mod or add-on, it would be the Kerbal Engineer. Mainly because I've used it for so long. Oh, I need to pay attention to the nav ball. Get up about ninety in the cut engines. There we go.
Ooh, need to pay attention to the nav ball. Yeah, I'm out of practice still. Alright, so we have Holy That <laughs> gave us a lot. Very nice. The mission controller is confirmed that stable orbit has been achieved. Nicely done. So almost sixty thousand funds, thirty science and hundred and forty two prestige. Very nice. Alright. Let's go ahead, spin around, get a crew report, uh, EVA, get back in, do a little bit of mystery goose science. Very nice, very nice. All right. So now, actually, I'm going to wait until we are going to be re-entering on the light side so that way we can actually see what we're doing All right, that should be good flip around And the orbit. All right, so now what we're going to do is, I guess, just watch the uh, um, this little readout until everything's met. I'm just going to pay attention. So go ahead and get rid of that stage. And might as well go ahead and use the other mystery view. Yeah, I don't know what's up with that flickering. I don't know if it's evident in the videos or not, but a little bit of flickering effect going on. Okay, I guess we have to wait till we get to 10.5 kilometers. Maybe I waited too long to do this one. That's what it must have been. I just hope I have that enough speed. It's got to be above 390 meters a second. And just not thinking about it, I think there was one to test the radial parachute as well, but I don't know if the conditions would be the same, so. Oh well.
All right, getting the re-entry effects. They're starting to slow a pretty good bit. So we're going to be going fast enough. Maybe I should make it a little bit more aerodynamic. <laughs> Hopefully. Need to lose altitude. All right, about seven kilometers. All right, we got the speed. Hurry. Oh, we lost the speed right when it happened. Oh, no. Oh, right when we got the, the altitude to speed. I should have kept the other stage so we could have sped up. Ah, oh, so close. Uh, so close. That's all right. We'll get it another one. We have plenty of plenty of chances to do re-entries to get that uh, that taken care of. But yeah, we should have plenty of science, uh, hopefully, to get the uh, the fuel lines. Well, I don't know that we didn't really get that much from experiments, and uh, the contract only gave what thirty. But we'll be close. All right. Go ahead and take a crew report. Oh, no. EVA. Let go. Ah, I get up. Take a service sample. And, uh, nope. And go ahead and get back in. Let's see how we did. Our reputation should go up pretty good bit. Yeah, it did. All right, so we have oh we have eighty nine science so close. Uh, holy crap, we have one hundred and six, almost one hundred seven thousand funds. And Jeb is uh, getting quite the reputation. All right, so now we need what I think I'm gonna do is just uh, take the surface sample and everything from the the launch pad. And get a little bit of science if we can with the uh, the mystery gear. All right, let's go ahead and observe the mystery goo. And just by that, it would be enough. But we're going to go ahead and oh, oh, we need to get off. There we go. Think the surface sample. And crew report. Nope. All right, that's good enough. All right, so we should be able to get a few lines. And I think next time we'll see what kind of uh, contracts we have. Uh, science parts. Pretty much got everything back. Very nice. All right. So let's go ahead and unlock our fuel lines. Very nice. All right. We got the main ones out of the way. Oh, I do have struts. Okay. All right. But uh, I think with that said, um, I think we're all call it good here, guys. As always, I appreciate you watching, and stay tuned for more.